Hello everyone, it's me Sayuj and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to check what are the top 10 Android Studio plugins for Flutter developers. Number 1 will be Flutter and Dart plugin. As you all know, as a Flutter developer, we need Flutter plugin and a Dart plugin to be installed in the Android Studio. The second plugin is Rainbow Brackets. What it will do is, it will change our brackets into a different color. The opening brackets and the closing brackets will be of same colors. Okay, I will show you. Uh, here, my opening braces is of green color and I can easily find the closing braces as it, it has the same color. It will be very useful when, the, when we have large common structure of code. The next plugin is Code Glance. What the Code Glance is doing is, it will show, it will show the code in the right side. When we have a large amount of code, it is easy to navigate between the codes. The next plugin is ADB Wi-Fi. What this plugin do is, we can connect our phone with our Android Studio by the Wi-Fi. The only thing is, we should connect both phone and system with same Wi-Fi. So it is easy, very convenient uh, to test and run the app. The next plugin is Flutter Asset Auto Completion. What it will do is, let me go to the code, okay. It will auto complete the files, I will give an example. If I write asset images and it will automatically write have the, all the assets inside that. So I can just press enter and it will come auto complete the rest of the code. The next plugin is Flutter Pub Version Checker. It is a cool plugin that we can check the version of our plugins installed in a Flutter project from in the Android Studio itself. We does not want to go to the pub.dev website. The next plugin we are using is JSON to Dart. What this plugin is doing is we can convert the JSON text into Dart models very quickly. So Dart classes very quickly. Let me show an example. Go here and just create a new JSON to Dart file. And let me copy some JSON text from the postman. Okay, there is the text. Let's copy this. Just copy and go to Android Studio and paste. And let's give a model class name. Just name this model. Okay. Now it's created. We can check all the the model class is created and the, all the functions also it will be created by itself and it is an easy method the next plugin we are using is markdown navigator and sensed what this plugin is doing is we can create the markdown files very easily and we can customize it okay we can preview here itself and all customize all things and it's very useful too only thing is it's not free it's just under one dollar and currently i am it i am using its trial version the next plugin we are using is flutter snippets what it will do is it will create some shortcuts for certain words so that we can write code easily the next plugin we are using is the stake management plugins that are block, getx and provider. We can use anything, any plugins that which, what, state man, st what state management is using in your project. It will be very convenient when you use a plugin. So that's all for this video. If you like this video, give a thumbs up for this video and subscribe to the channel. And thank you.